Okay, so here's the latest project in the shop. This is a uh, Case International model 255, a uh, little two-wheel drive tractor. Uh, it's a few years old. I think this, uh, I want to say it was from the 1980s. But anyhow, this belongs to a friend of mine, uh, and he uses this thing on the farm and, uh, you know, scooping manure and pulling stuff around and just every, you know, everyday farm use. Uh, the other day, he said that uh, started running kind of rough and uh, he shut it off. You know, it was running rough and he shut it off and I went out to start it back up later, had a hard time starting and uh, he started kind of messing with it a little bit in the engine bay here. Um, he pulled off the uh, intake, uh, the air cleaner and stuff like that, which comes around. You see my little light there. That's where the that's where the air line or the air intake goes on. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it or not, but there's antifreeze in there now. So he said he looked down in there, he saw antifreeze, um, and uh, he went ahead and cranked it anyhow just to see what would happen. And it blew. Uh, I guess he said the antifreeze cleared up and it started running again. So um, he's. I guess he tinkered with it. He took the air cleaner off and he. He messed with a couple of other things, um, but he got it running again. So I stopped over that night, and sure enough, he had it running. So uh, he said it was, you know, to me it didn't sound bad, but to him he said it sounded a little different than usual. So uh, we uh, looked in the radiator. Radiator's low. Of course, there's antifreeze in the intake here. So um, yeah, we, we topped off the radiator just to see what would happen. You could see uh, oil in the radiator so we got water where it shouldn't be we got oil where it shouldn't be but it's running so i'm thinking probably the block is good probably the head is good but probably it's just got a blown head gasket so that's what uh this project's going to be um we're going to inspect it we're going to pull the valve cover off first um then we're going to pull the uh Injectors out probably. I don't know. I might leave them in there. Just disconnect a few things here. Uh, hopefully that head comes off reasonably easy. And uh, I'll update you when I get into this thing more. Okay, so here's an update. Um, I just kind of got, uh, you know, focused on what I was doing and wasn't thinking too much about making uh, updates on every little thing I took off. Uh, so what I have... Uh, Done to the engine so far. First thing I did, I can't find a drain on the radiator, so I pulled the uh, water uh, line off the lower uh, radiator attachment, whatever you want to call that, uh, just to drain all the water out. Um, you know, try to get as much water out of the head and stuff as I can. I uh, disconnected this upper bracket on the alternator. I just loosened that up. I put the bolt back in. I try to put bolts back in where, whenever I can. Um, that was pretty much it on that side. Uh, beside this cable, this cable ran across the top, over top of the valve cover and went down in there. You can see a rag, I stuck a, a rag over that uh, port that that cable plugs into and threads onto. I think that's a tachometer. That was just a hand nut, you know, just knurled on the outside and spun it off with my hand and kind of tuck it cable out of the way over here. Uh, there was uh, uh, one wire on the temperature uh, probe here. Uh, you know, disconnected that, pulled it back. It's dangling over here. Um, there was a ground wire on this bolt over here. Uh, there was a, one of the grounds off of this uh, electrical harness here. Um, and then there's like a retainer uh, piece of wire that wraps around and holds that harness. Uh, that was also on that bolt. So I pulled those wires off and they're just kind of pulled out of the way. Um, and I guess, you know, I took off the two bolts that hold the, uh, uh, water pipe onto the top of the head and just remove the uh, water pipe off the top of the radiator just just to get it out of the way and now um, Took to get the valve cover off uh, There were two nuts on the outside holding the valve cover down under those nuts I think it was washer and then under the washers was uh, like a conical uh, uh, Chunk of rubber that acts like a seal uh, to keep, you know, oil from working up around those studs. So remove those two nuts, the cover pulled right off. And then um, under that uh, cover is kind of what you see here. I pulled the one stud out. There's, uh, I want to say it's like 14 millimeter uh, wrench to uh, uh, take that stud out. That stud unthreaded right out. Uh, I'm going to do 
these uh, these two here next, and then uh, I think I'm gonna have to take off these smaller heads. I don't know what size they are exactly. So that'll take off that whole rocker assembly. It's gonna come off of there, and then I can access all the head bolts. And it appears that there are one, two, three, four. I already broke these loose. Um, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them of the same size, and then there are three of them that are. Uh, I think they look like a smaller head, but uh, so anyhow, those are the head bolts. Got to take those off, and then uh, should just be able to. Uh, maybe I'm going to try to disconnect these fuel lines down here and leave all the lines and uh, you know, the uh, injectors in, in place, hopefully. Uh, I did disconnect that return line. comes off the fuel tank and goes down to here. So that's what I did so far. Okay, so here's an update. There's the uh, rocker assembly. I did not have to take out these two small uh, bolts. I just loosened up the three main studs, popped it off. Uh, pulled out the push rods, uh, marked them where they came from, and you know, up and down on those. And over here, I've got all my uh, head bolts are all loosened up. You know, I got these uh, eight uh, that were like a 17 millimeter, and then there are three that are like, uh, I think they're a 14 millimeter head. And I uh, loosened up my fuel lines, so I got all three of those uh, loose there. I believe. I've got the head loose on here now, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is try to pull that whole head assembly off of there and see what happens. Okay, so uh, I'm going to shoot this now. Normally I use my phone, but i got my camera. I just dug it out of uh, mothballs and set it up on a tripod here to try to get some, try to get some of this action in here. I'm hoping this head just comes right off. But I cut it out. Pretty good yet. Um, uh, heard anything, so I'm nervous about prying on anything here, but there we go. Okay, seen some wiggle. Good thing. There we go. Look promising. looking pretty good okay so here's the head laying on the workbench and you're gonna be looking at it for the first time with me so let's kind of flip it up here and see what's what I'm hoping that that head gasket is really messed up then that'd be a easy diagnosis okay so I'll turn you off here and uh, do a little more uh, investigate. Okay, so here's what we got. I pulled the head off. Um, there's the head. There's the head gasket. And the head gasket is bad. So right here, uh, this would be the number, number three cylinder. This is the one toward the rear of the tractor. You can see this uh, crack in the fiber portion. Uh, also, this metal ring, uh, this is like uh, crimped around, uh, so it's metal on the back side, and then it crimps around to the front side here, and you can see where 
that bend is, it's been broken. So, um, so this space, you know, what is that, like a sixteenth of an inch or whatever, um, that's, that uh, thickness of the gasket is exposed to the compression of the cylinder. So with that metal being cracked, that's allowing, uh, well, it's allowing compression in the water jacket here, and then it's allowing the water to seep back in into the cylinder, um, and then back up through the valves and stuff like that, just getting where it shouldn't be. This cylinder, this would be the number two cylinder, this one's also the same way, just not as dramatic. So uh, again, that where that metal is bent over, you know, from the bottom side coming around and, and uh, makes like a flange on top then. Um, you can barely, barely see it, but there you kind of catch it. That metal is cracked. And again, uh, the fiber portion of the gasket is also cracked. Um, I was examining the head earlier and uh, now there's not going to focus, but... Uh, Anyhow, I looked over the head. Um, originally, I thought maybe there was uh, some issues with it until I got it cleaned up. And in, in fact, it was just like, uh, I guess this is like a graphite material. Uh, some of that graphite material had transferred to the uh, head. And I, I thought the head had, had some issues, but the head, uh, I cleaned it up real well. And I don't think there's any issues with it at all. So uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I think a new head gasket will fix us right up. The uh, block appears to be in pretty good shape. I uh, cleaned it up and, uh, you know, kind of give it a rough clean up here. Just looking for cracks and stuff. And uh, I don't think there's any issues with it. So um, we should be good shape for uh, just put a new uh, head gasket on and uh, away we go. So uh, I will take the head bolts and I'm going to run them in and out. Uh, put some clean up the bolts real good you know wire brush all the gunk and shit off of them and then uh, put a little bit of oil on them and run them in and out uh, clean up the threads real well uh, I'm not a mechanic I kind of play one on YouTube but uh, I called a mechanic and I uh, got some advice from him and that's exactly what he told me to do um, was to uh, you know I, I wouldn't have even considered that but he told me to uh, clean up the bolts real good oil them up real well, and then run them in and out and uh, kind of chase those threads and then uh, stick an air uh, nozzle with a you know fine uh, tip on it down in the holes and blow them out. So uh, he advised me that uh, dirt and junk on the threads can severely affect the torque values when you go to put the head bolts back on. So uh, he said keep everything super spotless clean clean out your holes and uh, torque it down right it should be in good shape so that's uh what i'm gonna do go uh let's get a uh, head gasket on the way and get this thing put back together